another little man. <laughs> Knocked out, mouth wide open, looking just like daddy. <laughs> and he's so sweet. He's so chill already. It's Justin Diego back with another binge worthy video and Today, let's talk about how Real Housewives of Potomac star Monique Samuels just gave birth to a baby boy and we definitely have to talk about what made that process so scary from the very beginning. It's hard to even put it into words. Until you've experienced loss. Now, we know that there's no such thing as a perfect family, but when Monique Samuels and her husband Chris joined the Real Housewives of Potomac for their second season last year, we fell in love with their entire family. I love my babies. Today, I am so happy to report that Monique Samuels is officially a mom of three. The Real Housewives of Potomac star welcomed her third child, Chase Omari Samuels, with her husband Chris Samuels at 4.56 p.m. on November 26. Coming in about a week early, the baby weighed 8 pounds and 15 ounces, and he is 21 inches long. Luckily, we didn't have to wait long as Monique gave us a first look at baby Chase on her social media just hours after his smooth delivery. Earlier this year, during the show's third season, Monique Samuels opened up about her pregnancy via Instagram, initially saying, I am way too happy to be bothered. I'm full of life, literally. And in that same post, she revealed her baby bump for the very first time, along with the hashtags blessed and party of five. This is a video. Oh. <laughs> Over here, cheese in the post about the yes. <laughs> <laughs> now again, this news was somewhat bittersweet because if you watch the show, you know that Monique admitted that she was a little nervous about carrying this baby because even though carrying her first two children was such a breeze, she had recently suffered a miscarriage. As soon as I took the pregnancy test, Chris is just a grinning from ear to ear. And it never once dawned on me that we would lose it. I was a little down about it, but my main concern was just checking on you. Yeah. Yes. A lot happened last season, and when they started talking about this, like, it really tugged at my heart. Until you've experienced loss, it's hard to even put it into words, you know? If that were the first time Chris and I had ever tried to get pregnant and then experienced that, I think it would have been a lot harder. And I know that a lot of you guys have, you know, suffered this before or you guys have gone through this or maybe you know someone in your group of friends or family who's, you know, dealt with, you know, having a baby and, you know, losing a baby. I'm, I imagine that that has to be really tough, but I love that she shared this bittersweet news with the world. I think that that's what makes reality TV like really powerful and that's what really, you know, makes us connect with these people. Now that we know that everything is okay and she had such a smooth delivery, you know, it makes this new baby that much more special, right? Luckily, their strong family bond definitely helped push Monique through. And I think it was also important that she had friends, family, and, you know, a lot of you guys, her fans, keeping her spirit lifted up in prayer and just keeping her, you know, in a positive space. So hey everybody, look who we're talking hey, to! Hey! She's ready to deliver! Any minute now. Any minute! She's contracting. <laughs> Every 10 minutes! Potomac! Potosin and Potomac! Potosin! Potosin! Push! Push! No, no, cross your legs till you get there. Okay. Alright, we're gonna fly you into Atlanta. You can have your baby with us. I'm probably going to have a baby on the plane by the time that happens. <laughs> you won't, you won't. We got special powers. This is the way it's going to go. One of us will walk in the room and we'll say, Monique, push, please. And, and one the other one will say, push, push. Oh, right now. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I'm so ready. All right. Oh, good luck well, to you. Congratulations. Thank you. 
girl. Let me know if it's a boy or a girl. Okay. Oh, I All can't right. wait to find Bye. out. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. God bless. Bye. Okay, just in case you guys are a little confused about why Monique didn't know whether she was going to have a boy or girl for sure, for whatever reason, Monique and Chris decided to keep the baby's gender a surprise, and they actually did that for their first two babies as well. I think that that's always like really interesting for couples because I'm too nosy. Like, I need to know, you know, exactly what's going on right now. But I know that some couples are like so grateful and like so nervous or whatever, and they just want want God to give them a healthy baby they don't be trying to do nothing extra so I think this time that was definitely the case for them but I thought it was really cute that both Monique and Chris kind of had an idea that they were going to have a boy so much so that the new mom had the perfect outfit for when she would finally take this new baby home so this is how confident I was I was having a boy <laughs> I literally only packed like blue stuff <laughs> and this is the go home outfit <laughs> i knew it was a boy i think that that was so cute and you know really bougetto because real housewives of potomac is supposed to be like a little step above atlanta like those girls are supposed to have much bigger networks and they're supposed to be a lot more like <laughs> rich but like i just think that it's so funny that no matter where you take us black people where we're coming from we still gonna get our baby a cute little jordan outfit <laughs> come in and let me know if you guys think that that was a bougetto or you know if we could just, you know, look the other way. <laughs> finally, finally, I can go home. Look at my little bundle. Um, look at the little man. <laughs> He's so good. He just like put himself to sleep. Like, yes, time to go. <laughs> Either way, I'm just grateful that the baby is okay, and I'm happy to see the Real House Eyes of Potomac Star smiling from ear to ear. And if we're lucky, we'll get to see this all play out when the new season of the Real House Eyes of Atlanta, I'm sorry, <laughs> the Real House Eyes of Potomac returns for their fourth season this winter only on Bravo. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you Real Housewives of Potomac fans and Atlanta fans on the next one. Your booty, bro. My booty. <laughs> oh, pregnant booty. My booty is huge too. How you doing? You look great, bro. Thanks.